What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Kate Kaden and you're watching Songs, Scents, and Skincare. Today, we will be reviewing Banana Republic 78 Vintage Green. I have the 15ml variant here. There is a bigger variant that is 75ml or 100ml. Alright, which is still available online and it is made in the USA, okay. I tried to get this one. This is a blind buy but a recommended perfume by my friend in the USA. I'm glad that I was able to get a bottle here because it's not available anymore. Wherever I uh, search online on uh, the, sh the app that I'm using, it's not available. Let's open the box. Here we go. And this is the bottle here. Very simple, minimalist. It reminds me of Chill Loves. Yeah, Chill Loves by Chill Malone. Let's talk about the notes. Top notes are bergamot, green leaves, mandarin orange. Middle notes, green tea, fig, jasmine, magnolia. Base notes, vetiver, musk, and cedar. Uh, made of chords, green, citrus, woody, fresh, spicy, aromatic, woody, uh, fruity, floral, and sweet. Alright, so my main chords, or top chords from the list are green, citrus, and uh, woody. Pros of this scent, oh, you will smell expensive with this <laughs> scent. It is one of the best perfumes out there. It is so different from designer perfumes. It's green, so... so leafy? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a, an, it's a word, but I think of uh, that word, leafy, but yeah. It smells like green leaves. And also the bergamot is dominant. It reminds me of a fresh cabinet. That's how I picture it. It is one of the most luxurious, elegant scents that you can ever try. Uh, they said that it's quite similar to Hermes uh, perfumes. I'm not really sure which one, but I haven't... I, I've tried some uh, Hermes scents, but uh, I just don't remember them. But this one, I'm not sure which is quite similar to it. Is it worth buying? Yes. Uh, the price is not that expensive compared to the other designer perfumes. And some people say it's boring, but I just totally disagree because it is such a creative perfume. The the con, I, I have nothing else to... I don't have anything negative to say about this. I just love it. Uh, it might not... It's just that it, it is not my number one scent. It is not my favorite. Uh, there are scents that are that are I think fit my personality. If you buy, <laughs> if you buy a bottle of this, uh, it is not something that you would normally wear every day. I think it's more of a an event perfume. If you have special occasions, it's good for summer season, spring season. You can't spray it during daytime. This is one of my top 10 cents right now. It's just that it's not my number one. There you have it. I have nothing else to say about this, but it's just so good. It is one of the most amazing scents I've ever tried in my entire life. All right, it's not that expensive. Super worth buying. Take care and see you in my next review. Bye for now.